Okay, so here we are. We're doing another remap. Uh, this gentleman has come to us because he's had problems with another uh, trader who has done a remap. However, the vehicle had severe underboost, so it resulted in a negative deviation boost code. So we're just at the lights. We've made some adjustments, and let's see if our adjustments have made the difference. So we're just waiting for the lights to change. So on the last log, we made an improvement to the boost, but it wasn't perfect. Request is 2.2 bar, actual 1.8 bar. So we've adjusted the actuator a little bit more and we're logging again, just waiting for the lights to change. This is the area of concern, charge pressure calculated versus charge pressure actual. So that run got us 1.85 bar of boost max. So it's still not quite there. We're gonna adjust the actuator again, give it a few more turns of preload, and then we'll run the log again. Okay, after having adjusted the actuator, we've examined the map that was on it, and we found an error. The torque limiter in the automatic side, because this vehicle has been converted from automatic to manual, the torque limiter was set way too low. So we've remapped it again. We're dropping the map onto the ECU right now and then we'll take it out for another log. Okay, yet another log. This time we've dropped the mapped file onto the ECU. We're gonna be logging boost again. And uh, we will wait for the lights to change and then do it. The second map now we have come from 1.5 bar of boost to 1.85 bar of boost by uh, adjusting the map taking a log adjusting the map again and increasing preload on the actuator which was badly adjusted by the previous tuning company who had messed around with this van uh, in addition to that some of the data blocks in the ECU were not adjusted according accordingly for the map so we're on our second map first log and we're going to see how much difference we've made when the lights change to green. Lights are going to change any second now. This is the result from that last pull in third gear. As you can see, the request is around 2.2 bar or 2.182. The delivered boost is achieving 1.876. So every adjustment we're making is improving the boost little by little. So we're now going to add a little bit more preload to the actuator on the turbo and go for another run. The key data here is the request of 2193 and the actual of 1958, getting closer and closer. So we've done some more preload adjustments and as you can see, the boost is improving. Okay, we're still here. This is now something like the eighth run and uh, the eighth lot of adjustments and we are finally pretty much there. So waiting for the lights to change on the racetrack and then we'll be logging and they should be changing any second now. Okay, difference, what's yeah. the difference between this morning and now? Quite much different, it's a huge difference, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, brilliant. 
Okay, map's done, everything's good, we've got boost, smoke test. The road is wet, so we can see some water being picked up, but I can't see any significant smoke. Okay, give it some. I'm not seeing any smoke, we're good. 